Hey everybody, welcome to the third episode of What's That Pepper? Today's video we're going to feature the Brazilian Ghost. These are one of the hottest variety I've grown for the past two years and the Brazilian Ghost is a very unique variety. It's a cross between a Boot Jalokia, a Seven Pot Dugla, and a Trinidad Scorpion. As you can see, it has some kind of characteristic of a scorpion. It was created in Brazil, hence the name, by a gentleman named Jose Renato, or Jose Renato. I'm not sure how they pronounce that, but I watched UFC and there's a guy named Jose Aldo from Brazil, so I figure it's Jose. But anyway, here's what the pots look like. I will give you a quick look at what the tree looked like, then we'll come back and cut it open and let you see what's inside. Okay, here's what the Brazilian Ghost Red look like. It's very beautiful plants. These guys can get to four to five feet tall, depending on condition. It's a very productive plant, so you can get tons and tons of fruits out of here. They do very well in containers. The leaves are nice and medium sized, dark color. Uh, typical of a super hot. And check out the beautiful fruits on these plants. So this is not a stable variety. So many of the shapes are very different looking. For example, that one looked like a scorpion maybe. This one looked like a scorpion. And then the the fruits are very very large and beautiful. Just I love this variety. I grow this every year. It will start out green and then it'll ripen to sort of like a chocolate color like this and then it slowly transitioned to that very unique looking and then when it's completely ripened you get this beautiful vibrant red color one of the hottest variety that I've grown this thing is extremely spicy Okay, here's a closer look at the pods. These are very beautiful pods. I just love this variety. Now, these are extremely hot, so handle these with care. Uh, I don't recommend just eating this alone. I mean, I the reason I grow this is because I use these for hot sauce. So, let's cut one of these open, and then I will show you what's inside. Now many people have made fun of my plastic knife, so this time I have an actual knife to use to cut these open. Uh, again, always use gloves when you uh, handle peppers this spicy. I'll go with the larger one. It's a very large pod. Um, feels like a balloon, lots of air, so let's cut it open and see what's inside. Wow, you can smell it right away as soon as you cut it open. It smells very hot, a little bit fruity. Um, small placenta and for a large pod like this had pretty good amount of seeds in there now I'm not gonna try a bunch of this because I cannot handle this heat as, as I mentioned before so I'll just try a small piece and let you know uh, how it tastes based on my opinion I'll just cut a small piece okay I know I shouldn't do this, but <laughs> there's many people that are interested in 
what these look like, so uh, I'm just gonna do it. I have my milk here. Um, <laughs> I don't have any regular milk in the fridge, so this is only one thing I have as soybean milk. I hope that works. Uh, if you want to see the real review of this pod, uh, Dave has done one already on his channel, so I will link you. Uh, I'll post more information about the pods below as well, so you can go check out there. Sweet, juicy. The heat is not immediate. Oh, now it's building already. As soon as I swallow, it's, it's, it's all here. Hmm, not as bad as I thought, so let me try a little bit more piece. Oh, yeah, it's starting to build, that's for sure. Sweet, juicy, very nice flavor, good aroma, oh it's starting to burn right now. <coughs> Alright, I should have done that. <coughs> ah, very, very hot. And I didn't even touch the placenta part yet. So again, these pods are only for um, making sauce. That's why I grow these. They're very, very good flavor when I add them to um, a sauce. It's a good, it's a very nice variety because the plant is so beautiful. Uh, it produces well and the pods are large and each pod it are very different from another because the strain is not stable. So I'm gonna keep growing and keep growing it to see if uh, I can maybe stabilize it or something. But um, because I love this variety so much, so I'm just gonna keep growing it. And I always select the best looking pot to grow. That's just um, my own personal thing. Um, some people say that really doesn't matter, but to me it does. I just, I only want to grow the prettiest pots or the best looking pots for next season. Um, I go forgot the seeds of these came from um, uh, what was it uh, forest fiery foods or something like that but I'll, I'll put the link in the description below but um do I recommend you grow this um, yes if you're looking for good heat uh, the these are rated at around 1.4 million Scoville unit I think and it varies uh, depending on conditions, the grower, and all kinds of different things, but um, they can get up to that high. So if you're interested in some seeds, uh, Forest Fire Foods, uh, I'll put the link in the, in the description below so you can go there and check out and get some seeds to grow for yourself. Okay, the, <laughs> the camera ran out of memory before I finished up everything, but uh, the heat has subsided. Uh, there's really not much left now and um, I'm gonna end the video here very good pod highly recommend this for people who are seeking good heat uh, plant that is productive uh, grow very very large does really well in containers because all my plants that are in container five gallons for those that don't like heat yeah this is not a good variety for you it's just too hot anyway uh, Thank you for watching and uh, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, please provide feedback. Uh, I'm always trying to implement some feedback into the next video to try to make it better. Thank you for watching.